So I've got a nice little uh, cheap, hopefully good runner, uh, 25 quid I think this is when I reviewed it and it's uh, just a nice little sort of concrete, slightly rough terrain but that would be about all it's going to be aimed at but I can guarantee I'll probably wind up running it on something a lot more brutal than that. Uh, it's uh, really aimed at uh, kids or people who just want to have a little go in the RC car bit. Uh, when you, I pop the body clips off uh, and inside nice and everything's all tucked away obviously uh, brushed motor in there and you've got uh, the foil on the back everything is plastic on it yeah the props and the shafts and everything I've already opened the battery bay and you've got a big battery bay area and the actual battery that comes with it is a 500 milliamp hour and it's a two two cell uh, and it connects actually up on a JST connector you get a charger for it which is uh, USB so you can plug it into anything so it's great if you're out with the kids playing or uh, like I would be with the grandkids or whatever you can plug it into a nice little power bank or any anything else your car laptop uh, mains adapter and then with, you get flashing green LED when it's charging that goes solid when it's finished charging you get a little screwdriver so you can actually take the battery bay apart and that literally there's a little screw that goes in there as well your on off switch is underneath so just be a little bit careful with dirt and grit getting in there uh, that uh, will eventually stop it working but uh, and the other thing is this is not going to be waterproofed at all so slightly damp that would be about it splash proof might be the term the uh, transmitter is nice and simple really easy you've got on off and you turn the transmitter on first of all then you turn the car on and you do it the other way you turn the car off first then you turn the transmitter off that way it keeps everything safe you need four AA batteries uh, for the bottom of the transmitter and it actually has some trim dials here but they don't work at all your steering trim is here so you just adjust that if, if the steering goes off you move it left or right to, to correct it that's usually after you've had a big impact pull the trigger and the car goes forward push the trigger forward and it comes backwards uh, and if you if you're going forward and you want it to break simply to center or just push it push it forwards and that basically applies a brake just puts it into reverse really and your steering is right and left and that's it let's go and play okay so after a run with it it's a frozen car park actually that's all I can find In most places the snow is nearly as deep as it is standing up high so uh, I'm just going to run it up here see how it gets on I'm thinking it might just be able to run across on top of the snow but uh, we'll just see how it goes what could possibly go wrong Like, oh, that's a nice bit of water out there. <laughs> it's coping pretty well, actually. I don't think it's designed for subarctic conditions. Uh, it's definitely more, more car park concrete sort of thing. Just a slight bit of off roading, I guess. It's doing alright, actually. <laughs> 20 quid, God, the kids or the grandkids are going to love this. Why? <laughs> you just see it scrapping. It's not, not getting any grip at all, really. <laughs> and pretty durable, actually. Seems okay. I mean, it is all plastic, you have to bear this in mind. It's 20 quid. <laughs> Actually goes. <laughs> well, even over this a little bit of rough there. I'm just trying to find somewhere that's got a little bit of rough terrain. It's coping all right, actually. I thought with its low ground clearance and the way, the way it's sort of set up, I didn't think it would actually go over much at all. So it's doing all right. Hey, look at that! Yeah, it's not bad actually. Whoa! Hey, it's, you know, it's, it's got stuck in one chair. Look. It's got stuck, but it's got back out. Pretty good. Way cool. Range, all oh, range, who the heck cares about range on these things? I guess somebody does. So I'll just go run that out, see how far it goes. <laughs> I 
but I might actually get bored because it's not actually that fast. <laughs> Gee whiz! <laughs> That's a fair old range. We're going to turn it around and bring it back now. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> Bobbing along. <laughs> It is coming, honestly, trust me. You wonder why my reviews are so long. I'm waiting for the car to come back to me. <laughs> that is actually coming quite well. Oh, you just wanted something for the kids to play with. Oh, you just want to have your first go at RC cars. I'm not sure this would actually be, would honestly be the best. But it's actually damn good fun. This is actually like a sort of frozen ice here. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's water under there. I'm not going to go walk on it. <laughs> It's actually coping with all the rough terrain. I mean, when you consider what it is, it's still got a nice run in it. I'm going to swap and do some sort of slow motion stuff, just to have a play with it. But actually, yeah, reasonably impressed, I must admit, for what it is. <laughs> God, it's absolutely ice caked. <laughs> oh, bless. Okay, so what did I think of it? Well, you probably got the impression when I was starting I wasn't really over impressed with it and to be honest I sort of had a look around the reviews and there's not many guys that review things down at this level and I think that's wrong I think I'm missing a trick there because there's a lot of people out there that want to buy something for the kids or the grandkids or they just want to have a little go just to play they don't want all the technical stuff they don't want to be in all settings and changing things just want to go out and have a go and have a bit of fun that's exactly what this is aimed at 25 quid like I kept saying uh, throughout it, it's all plastic but it's lasted about well I must have done 10 runs with it easy on the batteries just running it and checking it all out and everything no marks on it at all I've run this over gravel I've run it over uh, tarmac lots of snow as you saw and absolutely you have tiny little scratches here but you've got to look for them um, it's done really well I, I didn't think it would I thought this would all be gouged away this would be bent round and this would be ruined in the snow it got completely caked up in here I just dusted it all off with a brush uh, put it in the airing cupboard of shame let it all dry out and it's been absolutely fine not a problem at all just kept that clean as well but honestly what well, you saw it it's it's there running it around indoors whenever it bumps into things this helps um, so it doesn't actually damage anything and the wheels hit uh, the tires hit just before these do as well about the same sort of impact so you don't actually get any damage uh, anywhere when I've been running it around lucky for me <laughs> otherwise I'd be back out in the snow and I, I wouldn't be allowed back in the house and it's done really well I think it's you know for what it is I think it's pretty good anyway now, saying about how long playtime you get, with this I was getting about eight minutes in all that snow and everything. I mean, they give 10 minutes. Uh, honestly, that snow is quite gonna drain something quite well. And it was minus three degrees, so hey, come on. <laughs> Let's be fair, <laughs> and it is only tiny. Uh, but when I actually ran it indoors, I was getting about, well, I was getting over 10 minutes then, uh, no problem at all. Nice and warm, and obviously, uh, on uh, there's no resistance almost running around on the tiles and on the floor, and we, uh, so there's a big difference there as well. A uh, couple of things which are slightly technical, uh, you've got, uh, it's not proportional on the steering by any means, so we're just going to pop that on and I'll just show you. So when I actually put some uh, steering on, it's nothing's happening, nothing's happening, and then as soon as I actually get to just a bit of turn, it will just lock over like that and it does both ways. This is not uncommon on this level, this is quite normal. So when you're actually driving it and you're, you're going forward, giving it a bit of go, and it turns a bit, if you don't want it to keep turning, you obviously just ease off the, ease off the turning. Um, I didn't have any issues with it at all, and it went wherever I wanted it to go. Uh, so it's, but it's just, it, some people, I know somebody will ask, is it proportional? No, it's not proportional sort of thing. The throttle again sort of comes on, sort of, if I'm just going to be as gentle as I can, it's sort of off and away, so it's not a real gentle takeoff. But it's such a tiny thing, and it hasn't got that much power. Honestly, it doesn't make a lot of difference. And when you rev it up, you sort of jump start, but then you do get a little bit of proportional control on the throttle it's absolutely fine I mean for what it is I think it's very good now one thing I did look through and I do have a thing of looking through manuals <laughs> this is the only time in my life I ever look through manuals but this one I really don't even bother looking at it I mean, it's, uh, this product is su suitable for rough concrete surface remote control the remote control is on the smooth ground due to the friction between the car and the Aberdeen little now Aberdeen is a uh, a city uh, in the highlands of Scotland so quite why Aberdeen little would be there and, and it just rambles on about absolutely nothing it's uh, yeah 
not good. Uh, but that's fair enough, it's a really simple thing to operate. Now you might also say, hang on a minute, you know, for another few quid, I could go up to something like this. And then you could say, well, you know, and, and then another few quid I could get a bit better. And then, well, actually, you know, if I'm going to spend that money, I might as well spend something like, you know, 300 quid buying something like this. Well, this is not what this is aimed at. <laughs> Definitely not. This is aimed at 25 quid for kids or people who just want to have a go. And I've enjoyed it, to be honest. So, OK, my battery's back on charge. The granddaughter's on her way over. We're just going out to have a bit of fun in the snow. Mm -hmm.